Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is October day four. <laughs> and I am wearing a different shirt. <laughs> I'm just saying that because yesterday I was wearing a black shirt, but it was my Halloween shirt with a witch on it, and this one has skeletons on it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I just came... Let me take my glasses off. They're so glary. I just came in the kitchen. I need to clean it up a little bit. <laughs> and I think I might have to go ahead and make the cinnamon rolls. Um, cause I have to cook them and then let them cool and or and then, so that way when I put that frosting on there, the icing, it won't just melt and become clear, <laughs> cause I want it to be white. And then I also got some decorative gel, which is like frosting, I guess. I don't know, <laughs> to make little eyeballs on the ghost. Um, yeah. So I'm also gonna open my ball. What did I do with it? What? That's right here. Today's is wool of bat and tongue of dog. So let me put my tripod down because I'm, I'm holding it and then I will do that. In the kitchen and the lighting's not the greatest in here. Let me see if it's just purple or if it's another color down in there. I think it's just purple. <laughs> so I decided I'm going to make two snakes because if I make one snake it's going to be huge. So I'm going to make two because um, that way there's two you know, one for each kid. Nece you know, Not necessarily for them but for them to play with so they're not arguing over one. And also um, I like I have a I made a draft stopper. It's actually down here below my dishwasher. I would show you, but I need to sweep my floor, and I don't want you to see how messy this. Um, because the bottom panel to the dishwasher has been gone since we lived here. I guess maintenance never did put it back originally, <laughs> so I put it under there to keep stuff from running underneath the dishwasher or toys. So, um, and I used to put it underneath <laughs> the couch, so as toys wouldn't go on the couch. So then, if I make two snakes, I can use those also for draft stoppers under the doors or things to put under the couch so the toys don't go under the couch <laughs> so that's my plan but so I might start the second one with this or I might go ahead and go through and finish the first one and then start the second one I don't know but if I do that I will work on the first one up to day 15 and then I'll work on the second one so one will be a little bit longer than the other one um, I don't know we'll, we'll, we'll see I think I might just finish the first one first and then make the second one but yeah, so that was day one. <clears throat> now I'm going to clean up the kitchen and maybe make those cinnamon rolls and see about what else I'm going to do. Because <laughs> I have no idea. I haven't got any plans today. <laughs> you don't need a winky. You don't need it. Look at the baby. Oh, hello, baby. Say hello. <laughs> It is a little bit after one and we just finished school. Oh lord, I'm stepping over baby gate. <laughs> I also just printed out while he was doing school, I was working on printing out more stuff for school. And uh let's see, this is this is stuff I'm printing out for they're called morning menus. It's just I printed out one to help him remember his address, his phone number. It's got some positive affirmations. Bless you. I also printed out stuff about continents. <laughs> That's not, that doesn't go to that. But anyways, I printed out some of my stuff that I'm going to laminate so that he can dry erase, or I guess wet erase on it. And, uh, and then the other day, I printed out a bunch of Halloween stuff, coloring pages, crafts, things like that. One's uh, Halloween Would You Rather. One of them is like the history of Halloween. And then there's one that's a dice game, but I got to go to the Dollar Tree and get some dice. They have like big, big like, they're like two inch dice to, uh, you know, play for games and stuff. <laughs> Anyways, to roll a pumpkin. I know. June is tired now. She's got to go down for a nap. Yeah, hold on. Let me step over to baby game. He's in there playing in his room. Ugh. Baby game's going to kill me. <laughs> and I'm going to get her ready for a nap and then I'll catch up with you guys after she sleeps. Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is October 5th, so it's Vlogtober Day 5. 
I did vlog some yesterday, so I'll put those clips in, but then like, the second half of the day ended up being chaotic. <laughs> so I didn't get to do the rest of my vlog or watch work on Wednesday. So I'm thinking I'm going to try to do watch work on Thursday today, but only if I get a chance. I'm not going to pressure myself. <laughs> That's hard with two kids. <laughs> but anyways, I want to show you my scrap ball for today. And uh, since I had a rough day yesterday, I'm going to open one of the gifts today <laughs> uh, for myself, you know. But anyways, here's a scrap ball. It says, what does it say? The Hallowed Spot. I got laundry going, but I think it might have stopped or it's about to start spinning. So I don't hear it anymore. I remember I'm cleaning the house this morning and I'm tired. I'm sweating. It's crazy how dirty your house gets in just like a matter of days. Ah, hold that one. Ooh, this one's cool looking. Definitely different colored. <laughs> it looks like down in there, there's, let me kind of open it up. There's some black and gray. Down in there might be some more down in there. So, yay, that's gonna be pretty. Um, I'm gonna fill up my bag. I'm gonna keep in my bags because I'll probably use them in junk journals eventually if I ever get to do that again. But June doesn't really let me sit down and do stuff like that right now. Uh, so, I just grabbed one of the gifts out randomly. It's this cute little reusable bag. <laughs> it's so cute. It says treats. It's got a bow on it. <clears throat> oh gosh, I don't how can I open this up? Messing up the bow. Okay, there we go. So now I got some more little ribbons I can save for crafty stuff. Ooh, okay, so this is what I see so far. <laughs> got a lot of that little paper in there. I'm probably gonna get it all over the house. Okay, so it's a Nightmare for Christmas mug. Jack. I love Nightmare for Christmas. I love anything Tim Burton. It's so cute. It's pretty big too. It's like a bigger one. I don't know if it says how many ounces it is. Whoops, I just tore the sticker. So now it's... Uh, 20 ounce. It's pretty big. It's bigger than a water bottle. You know, water bottle is 16 ounces. 20 ounce? Oh, okay. And inside of that was, okay, this is two packs of Swiss Miss Salted Caramel. I love hot chocolate. I have literally a gallon size bag and like a half of a different type of hot chocolate in my pantry. So I can pull out and have it anytime I want. And another day I was cleaning out my pantry and I found some of those little Santa ones. It's like little Santa chocolates that you put in hot milk and they melt. I love those. <laughs> we get those every year around Christmas time. And I found them and so it made me excited. And then there's also this bag. Looks like it's got candy in it. I love candy too. I love these little tree packs. I remember when I was a kid, anytime we went to a house that had these, it was just so exciting. And they had like candies or like little stickers and stuff like that in it. It was always the best houses, you know, with the little bags. That's the kind of house I want to be whenever our kids are old enough that they don't trick or treat anymore. I want to make little gift bags and stuff. Alright, so it has two of my favorite Kit Kats, which is Brew. I love which is Brew and Bones. It's got a Reese's Pumpkin, which I also love. Oh no, these are like, um, Pop Rocks, but they're Warhead, so they're sour. This one is Crackle Apple. That's gonna be really sour. This one is Wicked Watermelon. And this one is R.I.P. Raspberry. <laughs> I've never seen these. I bet I like these ones. I don't know about the apple ones, because usually apple sour candy is like the sourest. I have to have Jesse Charles with me. Yay, so that's my little gift for today. That definitely perked me up. Yesterday was a rough day. <laughs> Parenting was. Kids are crazy. <laughs> but there. So I got my little gift. I got my scrap ball. I didn't finish putting in yesterday's scrap ball. Uh, it's almost done, but it's the, the you know day was getting later. It's time for me to get Sissy ready for bed. And then I started watching um, the new Haunted Mansion on Disney Plus. The one that just came out. And it's really good so far, but I only got like an hour into it, and it's two hours because June fell asleep, and then so I had to get her in bed and get Jesse ready and all that. So I went ahead and turned it off, <laughs> even though I wanted to stay and watch it. So I'm gonna finish watching it sometime today, hopefully. Uh, I will say though that I don't think that one's a little kid friendly. It is rated PG-13, and I think it really is. The the one with Eddie Murphy in it that came out in 2003, 20 years ago. <laughs> that one's more kid friendly, I think. 
because it's uh, it's rated PG and it's got more funnier like ghosts and stuff. This new one's got a little bit more scarier ghosts, especially the way the ghosts look. I, I know Jess, I know 100% Jesse would be freaked out by it, so he's definitely not allowed to watch it. Uh, so definitely, if you if you're planning on watching that, make sure you pre-watch it before you have little kids watch it because you know you know your kids, you know what scares them. And I know Jesse will get scared by that movie because it's a lot more scarier. It's not horrible, but it's, um, it's got funny parts in it. But uh, the ghosts are definitely creepy looking. <laughs> and uh, some of the things they talk about, you know, in the movie is just older kid. <laughs> older kids need to watch it. Anyways, I'm going to put this paper somewhere because I like to keep it and reuse it. It's crinkle paper. <laughs> it's good for gifts and it's also good for... Um, Padding and packages, which is, I guess, what she did it for. And then I'm going to put my this part up for potential junk journaling in the future if I ever have to do that again. Uh, and then I'll put this up and maybe try some of it later. <laughs> but right now, I'm going to go see if that laundry stops so I can switch it over, start another load, <laughs> and I'll check in with you guys later.